In the last decade, games have gone through a pretty massive transformation from games as packaged goods to games as services. So in the old days, you would build a game, put it in a box, and sell it on the store. Now, games have become these services where you build it, launch it, and then the real work begins. PlayFab's in Seattle, Washington, downtown near Pike Place Market. Our engineering team is just under 10 people, and the whole company is about 15 people now. The problem we saw was that all these game developers were having to build their own technology from scratch to operate these games as a service. And what that meant was developers who are really good at building kind of these interactive experiences were having to also build mission-critical 24 by 7 server architecture. And so what we did at PlayFab said, let's build one platform, make it available as a service so everyone from small garage shops of, say, two or three people, all the way up to some of the biggest developers and publishers sign up and start using our services for their games. The day a game launches for the very first time is often the day it's going to see the most traffic it's ever going to get in its entire lifetime. So the problem is you're going from often an untested, brand new piece of infrastructure, and you're, and you're subjecting it to the biggest load it's ever going to see. At the same day, it's going to get the most scrutiny and press and attention it's ever going to get. And so one way we solve that is by building on top of AWS. And so thanks to you know, the ability to scale up servers in the cloud, the ability to scale up storage with things like DynamoDB, the ability to use things like Elastic Beanstalk and, and dynamic scaling, uh, we can ensure that if a customer launches a game and forgets to tell us about it, we're still protected. Because as our load starts to increase, we can automatically add new capacity and add new resources online to keep up with that demand. Um, what AWS allows us to do is both provision a, a, a base amount of resources to handle what we might expect a, a typical game to do on, on launch day, but also to be able to adjust that very quickly if it turns out that the game is a bigger hit than anyone anticipated. We have the ability to store massive amounts of data, process it you know, on the back end with super powerful computers and, and you know, robust analytics, use big data warehouses like Redshift to get in there and figure out exactly what's going on inside a game. And then use services like S3 and DynamoDB and others to push new content updates down to the clients and our wide players will keep coming back over and over again. While there are other cloud providers out there, none of them have the breadth of, of services that AWS does, and it keeps getting more and more featureful every day. One of the, the ways we benefit from using AWS is AWS has data centers all over the world. When we're hosting a multiplayer game for one of our developers, they can tell us where they want to put their game servers. And so we have game servers running today all over the globe uh, to give players the best possible experiences. AWS allows PlayFab to provide a service that is almost infinitely scalable. One of the most important benefits we get from using AWS is that it can scale up and down extremely quickly. So one of the challenges with any startup is getting that, that product market fit just right. And I think at PlayFab, you know, we are at a point today where uh, we are really thrilled with the product we have and the way we're growing our customer base, but it took a while to get here. The world has changed <laughs> with the cloud. So at PlayFab, with a team of fewer than 10 engineers, we have close to 30 million monthly active users and operate a 24 by seven service. And that just would have been unheard of even say 10 years ago. By using services on AWS as our building blocks, we can focus on the code and what we provide as a service that's unique to game developers, and we're confident that those building blocks will, will scale and be high, highly available. This layer of game-specific services on top of AWS, um, we reduce the burden that game developers have in terms of, of building the, the services that their online games use. Just in the time it's taking me to answer this question, something like 30, 40,000 things have happened out there somewhere in the cloud on behalf of our players and our customers. And I just, I just love that. I love that you know, we're doing all this work in the background so that these games can be continually running and, and, and serving their players.